Welcome to our estate sale preview this week. This week we are in Dell City and a really unique little house that is kind of unexpected uh, as far as where it's located. I'm going to start giving the tour and there's a lot of stuff here. You're not going to see all of it in the video, but I'll kind of talk about some of it. In the master bedroom, we're going to start. We have a uh, jewelry on wall. Inside the closet, there are tons and tons and tons of ladies' clothes. Lots of nice, unused, or brand new uh, shoes. There's lots of Kohans and some other nicer brands. We have this uh, pair of matching nightstands and a queen size bed frame. And this is an adjustable bed that we're also selling. It's very nice, very clean. Um, this is nice newer furniture. With lots of ladies leather boots. Uh, these also are all mostly brand new, never used. Over on the jewelry table, uh, uh, we've got a lot of Dooney and Burke, I'm sorry, not Dooney and Burke, uh, Whiting Davis uh, purses. Also here on the stool, we have a lot more Whiting and Davis purses. And on the jewelry table, we have lots of costume jewelry, but there's also several pieces of real jewelry. Obviously, the real jewelry won't be here till the day of the sale, but there's going to be lots of real jewelry and some really nice costume jewelry. Over here at the end of the room, we have a really nice armoire with, um, and there's a second armoire we're going to show you. Like I said, we have tons of clothing. There's lots of clothing. There's also kind of a hidden bonus room I'm going to show you all at the very end of the video. So if you want to stay to the end of it, we've got several coach purses. We have a Dooney purse. We also have a Gucci purse. So there's lots of nice purses. And then there's a unusual amount of really nice nice leather purses. They're in every single room, hanging on every door. Lots of really nice uh, usable purses. We've got several gold mirrors, a Pendleton jacket, like I said lots of other really nice leather purses. In the second room uh, we've got this neat little uh, country French style dresser We've got more purse or more shoes. Like I said, most of these have never been worn. Uh, we've got another little dresser, tons and tons of blankets. We've got three quilts or three quilt, one quilt, three uh, two quilt toppers. We have a pair of country French nightstands, and there's more nightstands I will show you later. And all these little hats that kind of go all the way around the room. Lots of little throw pillows and tons of books. There's books kind of th spread throughout the house. In the, this was her craft room or sewing room with this really nice uh, elegant desk and this desk also has the matching credenza that goes to it so both pieces match. Uh, they're priced separately but we also have this nice little, uh, it's a little basket drawer thing and over here some more drawer baskets. There's lots of sewing stuff. Also there's three printers that are fairly new. Lots of file cabinets. We have a Nietzsche sewing machine and a Janome serger. And we're also selling the sewing cabinet or it's a machine cabinet that you can put a machine in. We have a portable fire safe and another uh, kind of country French style armoire. Now we're going to go into the other parts of the house. And let's see. In here we have a couple of country French uh, marble top coffee table or end tables plus the coffee table that matches. We've got three or four different sets of china that are kind of spread in the house. And then I'm going to poke outside and show you the two cars we're selling. The two cars are. We've got, if you can kind of tell, we're selling a 55 T-Bird convertible with a hard top. We're also selling, kind of hard to see because it's night, we're selling a uh, Mercury Grand Marquis that is like immaculate condition, only 33,000 miles. And now back in the house, in the dining area, we've got this Really cute little petite uh, country fetch dining or Prince provincial dining table the four chairs Really super cute little petite uh, table uh, We've got lots of collectible glassware lots of crystal uh, There's some moon and stars some star of David lots of just miscellaneous pieces, but they're really pretty 
We've also got, uh, over here, we've got a um, curio cabinet. We've also got this as an antique, uh, antique china cabinet with a curved front. And inside, there are two really cute little, uh, the little Yadro figurines, or the centaurs. Uh, also, as you can tell, right here, there's actually security cameras. The family can actually, can actually monitor, it's monitored 24 hours a day. They've got cameras that watch and everything. Uh, we've got a whole vase. These are the two Yadro centaur pieces that are, we've never had before, but they're really cute. And this is a lot of really nice kitchen wares. A lot of the stuff, like I said, never been used in very good condition. Out in the backyard, I can't show you because it's so dark, but there's a rotting lawnmower, tons of concrete statuary, tons of other really great yard stuff, and this is the season coming up, so you definitely would want to take a look at it. Uh, in the kitchen, we have these little country French bar stools that swivel. There's other really nice kitchen wares kind of throughout the kitchen, and I promise there's a really cool room coming up I'm going to show you, and lots of china. In the kitchen, I believe, I have to clarify, we're selling the refrigerator. We will know for sure tomorrow. We've also got a washer and a dryer and a senior clothing press. And in the garage, we've got the little um, compressor. There's lots of power tools, lots of hand tools, uh, little toolboxes. But there's some really nice, good quality tools, lots of yard tools. There's a little blower. All of these still have the sander, the grinder, the stapler. There's also another grinder. We've got skill saws. Another big bar stool. And lots of chemicals and cleaners. We have a steam vac. Uh, we have several fans. There's many window fans out in the backyard, plus also fans in the garage. I mean, lots of really good usable uh, garage items. We're selling this big rack. We've also got all these chemicals, like I said before. We have lots of paints, lots of craft paints. Kind of over there, you can see we have a power miter box saw. And we've got this little mini fridge we're selling. And what looks like, I believe, a scroll saw, a power chainsaw. We've got another big file cabinet and two more tool cabinets. And now I'm going to take you to the surprise. This could be one of the coolest features of the entire house is it has a second floor. It looks like a little bitty house from the outside, but you've got this really large second floor that's real super fun in mid-century. So on the second floor, we have an entire other living room with lots of really cool, real cute little French furniture with this little French settee. We've got lots of brass items, a little marble top table, cute little pair of slipper chairs with another marble top coffee table. We have more books and TVs. There's several TVs throughout the, throughout the cell over here. There's some, lots of original little art and some landscaping and a little reproduction Cosby uh, record player. We have a whole box full of records and a portable air conditioner, a little antique uh, French nightstand. We have this really interesting uh, mahogany desk that has the built-in bookcases on the front side of it and it's kind of half round. And we've got uh, VHS, DVDs, all sorts of stuff. And we've got uh, these three fur coats. There's one for sure that's fox. I believe two of them are fox and one of them, I'm not sure what, the, what they are. And then we have this gigantic tunnel full of stuff. Now, if you come up here, you have to make sure you don't hit your head because I've hit my head plenty of times working up here. But we've got trunks, we've got clothing, we've got paintings. There's a cuckoo clock, lots of silver plate. Got more books, all these little French uh, country French uh, 
tables. We have uh, some duck and fly style chairs. Got lots more clothing and some fans. And tons and tons of little interesting pictures. Lots of really great vintage holiday decor, lots of Christmas decor. This really is kind of a fun sell because it's really kind of like a little time capsule. There's just lots of really fun stuff to dig through. Uh, apparently the family has lived here for quite a while, so they just really didn't get rid of stuff. And as you can see up here, a lot of the clothing is really fun and really vintage. Anyway, that kind of wraps up the tour. Obviously there's a lot of pictures more on the website. Definitely go check it out. Uh, definitely come by. It's going to take a long time for you to see everything because there's so much stuff. And we'll see you here. Bye-bye.